Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the 22-23 Europa League jersey review. Yes, it's a bit late thanks to the World Cup. We are entering the quarterfinal stage as I'm uh, recording this. But so be it, there are still some really nice jerseys to look at. It's a very eclectic mix. Actually, we have quite a few brands and uh, it's actually Adidas who have the most, most teams in here with seven. Then we have Nike with six and Puma Macron each with five and then a couple of uh, brands with two uh, or only one team. So that is exciting to have an eclectic mix. Also, we have a good selection uh, of countries in the countries that we usually don't uh, really talk that much on this channel. Now, within uh, this video, um, if there's a team that I've already covered, I will just give you the jersey and the grade. Uh, and if they have released me uh, since the last review a jersey, even if it's not one in the Europa League, I will briefly talk about that one. For teams that we have not covered yet or that are in smaller leagues, um, I usually will go through the entire set of jerseys. However, the whole thing might not be super precise because sometimes it's not very uh, clear which jerseys were worn where and, you know, it's, it's sometimes hard to research. All the pictures, the jerseys that I have in this video, I took from Football Kit Archive, link in the description below, uh, a page that I can highly recommend. I rate all these jerseys on a scale from one being the worst to 10 being the best. And uh, then we will go group by group. You see here all uh, the teams that we have here. Groups A and B will be in video one, groups uh, C and D in video two, uh, E and F in video three, and G and H in video four. And so I would say, let's get started with groups G and H, which means we're looking at Olympiakos, Karabakh, Freiburg, team I'm wearing, Nantes, Cervenas Vesda, Monaco, Ferencvaros and Trabzonspor. A really, really eclectic mix here. And we'll start in Greece with record champions, Olympiakos. Classic Adidas stripe template. Nothing wrong with that one, except maybe the sides. The sides look a little bit off because the one red bar, there comes a white thingy in. I know this is again this triangle under. That kind of is a little bit of putting. Maybe also the striping, I don't know why, but I would prefer them because a little bit thinner striped. So yeah, you know, a few, few things, but I think it's overall a pretty nice looking shirt. Seven stars, especially also the sponsor in red and white is cool. Uh, the away jersey though is a little bit more adventurous. Um, while I get maybe a blue jersey, I don't. I find the tone of red is already it's more an orangey. Uh, if that was red, I think I would overall like it, this one. But you know, the, uh, the crest and the other one, it doesn't really line up. But then the pattern, I mean, it looks like a spine in a way. It looks it looks odd, interesting, odd. Um, and then uh, the sleeves. In the same color, as I think the red line sleeves are fine. It's it's the orange that really turns me off a little bit. On, on honestly, I've seen better Olympiak blue Olympiakos shirts. Um, where to go with this one? I uh, I honestly want to give it four uh, to 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 be frank. And then you know you can also uh, color adjust it. The crest here is much darker to fit with the dark sponsor, but it's gray. It's gray. The color is weird. We have again the triangles below uh, that are also off. I do get a gray Olympiakos shirt. Uh, why they use it? Uh, but it looks a little bit more like a goalkeeper jersey than a jersey that I would like to have. Uh, it's just bland. I actually think this is worse than the, the, the previous one. So three stars here. However, there are also jerseys that are really nice and Karabak is one of those. If you've seen my top 10 jersey review from uh, last year, you know that I love this third jersey a whole lot. It's by a company called Il Azero, which you know as Zero by John, but Il Azero, it's, it's very, it looks, uh, sounds very Italian. What I love about this one, I mean, I saw it in the highlights here and there. I thought this is, this, this is potentially a really interesting shirt. And if you look at it, it's such an intricate pattern on there really really well done then uh, paired off with the crest uh this is an absolute winner to uh, to me this is like a small brand making something really really outstanding 
I gave, I'm gonna give this 10 stars and the away jersey in white. You see the pattern maybe a little bit better, but uh, it gets a teeny bit overbearing. But it's also that the crest pops better as well. It's a give or take. I personally like the black one a little bit more, but I have to say that the white one is also quite, quite nice. I'm gonna give it the same grade. Those are two of the finest jerseys, two of the most interesting ones uh, that I have seen. 10 stars. And then the third jersey uh, is more with the home uh, the jersey, but it's now in kind of this olive green with gold, uh, a nice combination. But I think that the golden dots is a little bit too much. It takes away from the pattern, to be honest. And so I'm going a little, a little bit down here. Only eight stars, but I have, have, have to say these three look really darn fine. Now, Freiburg, we already saw in the Bundesliga jersey review, the home jersey, yeah, three stars. It's way too weird, to, to be honest. The away jersey, I mean, I get the colors. It's very similar to what I'm wearing, but I think that this is better done. I don't get this gradient. Over, over, it looks a little bit weird. I may have been a little bit too strict with the four stars that I gave it in my uh, Bundesliga jersey review. I actually want to correct this to a five stars here, but uh, on, 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 honestly, I would have expected a little bit more. I do, however, really enjoy the third jer jersey. The sleeves are interesting, uh, white with the black. I think that's actually quite nice. Uh, I gave this one a seven. It's the best jersey from Freiburg this season. We also had not already in the league a jersey re review and I gave the home jersey as worn in the league. I gave a seven star. Um, I like the understated but then with the white and the green. It's really, really nice. It looks even better in Europe when they actually use the sponsor what we saw in the third jer uh, jersey. Uh, because now it is all tone in tone in uh, yellow and green. I like this a whole lot. It, admittedly, at first it does catch you off guard because we're so used to the red sponsor on not, but I think this looks a whole lot better. I really enjoyed this one. That's why I'm gonna raise it even by one. This jersey will get an eight star, the European home. Uh, jersey. Uh, the away jersey I also really like. Uh, it's just green and yellow but it makes so much sense for, for not. I gave this a seven and then the third jer jersey yeah is just that's the same uh, uh, sponsor that, that that we've seen on the European home jer jersey. Also quite a nice one overall. I wish maybe a bit more green but you know kind of also makes sense but it's the most average of those five stars for this one. I think this, this is a fair grade. And we're moving to the last group, which is also clearly the most eclectic one. We're going to Cervena Svesta or Red Star Belgrade. I like to use the Serbian for, for that one because it actually sounds a little bit nicer, on, on, honestly. If it wasn't for the big blank for the Gazprom sponsor, I think this would be an absolute winner. But that, that blank it just turns me off so much because it's not even needed because yes and uh i don't want to see gazprom anymore and i hope they don't have have it anymore uh but i guess they still do um but you could get the red stripes a little bit further down because that flame could actually uh move up so that's a big no no uh, what I really like is the white and the uh, um, the white and the red uh, stripes, but then also slightly outlined in golden. But not every stripe. The center stripe has a golden around, and it's the next one is just white and the next one golden. It's kind of in interesting and works very well together with the crest. Love the color, love the sleeve cuffs. There's a whole lot to like if it wasn't for the ugly, ugly sponsor. And so a jersey I would easily give probably nine stars, if not more. I. <sighs> I think this is a seven and I think it's pushing it. The sponsor is really, really ugly on uh, this one. Uh, the away jersey is much, much better. Um, I like the stars on the blue. I love the blue with the red accents. I think this is a, this is a really cool look and here the sponsor, yes, it's still a bad sponsor, but it doesn't look all that bad. Uh, uh, 
I think this one is overall all right. I wanna give this, yeah, overall an eight star. I think I like this, this one. And then the third jer jer jersey, the pattern reminds us, of course, of the famous Germany shirt. It's a little bit low because of the of, of, of the sponsor, so that may, may make it look, look odd. I think this would be a jersey that would look better with a red sponsor to begin with. And then just blank below because every, everything else looks really, really, really nice on, on that. So uh, I think, why I guess, why I know why they wanted to do it this way. It does look a little bit odd and... I love the color, I love the sleeve cuffs. I mean, everything above the sponsor, super. Every, 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 everything below the sponsor, not so much. So again, a five star here. Now, going over to Monaco, we saw Monaco already in the uh, League Air jersey review. We see here the home jer uh, jersey that gave eight star. I think it's really nice. I just would like a little bit more color on the crest. In Europe, they are using a white away jersey with golden accents. Um, maybe I can get it, but I think white and gold is not a great combination unless you're Real Madrid, honestly. I'm not so much a fan of it um, and it looks rather simple I'm gonna give this uh, six stars I actually like the uh, third jer uh, the away jersey in the league with black and white a little, little bit uh, more which I gave seven stars uh, we have also the third jersey uh, in purple kind of weird looking this is a four or four star and for some reason I know uh, my wife saw it yeah yes I said what is that it looks like a women's dress there's something I do actually enjoy, but I wouldn't want to necessarily buy it. I still gonna give this eight stars. And let's, let's leave it at that. Uh, going over to Hung Hungry Ferenc Varos. Um, Nike template again. Green and white stripes, I think looks nice. I even like the golden. I wonder why we need a white background on a T-Mobile logo. Maybe some brand policy, but I think this would look just fine if you would apply the golden on the green and white stripes. It would make it look a whole lot better. The color also looks a little bit weird, but all overall, I think it's a strong look. Uh, I want to give this eight stars. The away jersey. Now, there's a little controversy here if you want to look closely. Greece has the same jersey. Uh, instead of black, uh, it is white. Instead of green, it is blue. And everyone is saying this is a swastika shirt again. And if you look closer here, yes, you can make out a swastika if you want to. Uh, it goes from the crest and through the T-Mobile logo down. And then there's also the cross. However, I think it's, it's a little bit tenuous, to be honest. Uh, and everyone, yes, it's a national team, team jersey, so everyone get, 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 gets a little bit, bit, bit upset. Here, I think it's just a bad coincidence in a way. However, it's not a great template by Nike. And that you can make out if you want a swastika definitely doesn't elevate it. Black with a little bit green is actually working quite, quite well. And the white with the crest, that all works, but I think it's a little bit too, 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 too messy and for such an ambiguous potentially offensive pattern I gotta deduct points I'm gonna go three right here and then we have a third jersey in golden and black which is of course used uh, in the Europa League as the patches tell you I actually really like like the gold with green honestly uh, although gold and black works usually quite well yeah average let's go uh let's go four here and we'll end it in the far east of turkey with trapsonspor home jersey classic trapsonspor home jersey the stripes we have since they're turkish champions also the turkish uh scudetto if you would would like the one thing that turns me off with this one is the color which looks really really really, really odd there there's two folds too many don't you agree with, agree, agree with me? Other than that, I don't care for maybe also the way that the shoulders go. It's a little a little bit off, but it is classic traps on spore. So seven stars here. Uh, the away jersey makes a little bit more sense in the light blue. And I really like these tram lines, uh, which were, of course, uh, stolen from Admiral, I, I, I guess, without really making it too obvious. Um, but it makes a whole lot of sense to me. 
overall i actually do enjoy uh georgia as well but i think i want to give it the same grade as the home jersey with seven the third jersey i don't know what this is meant to be i mean it looks a little bit like uh ancient armor with the top part here um uh, it's adventurous but for me not in a good way uh it's not an attractive jer uh, jersey to be honest so i'm gonna give it a four star and then they have a special champions jersey and i think they were wearing this one in the champions league qualification and I, maybe they've worn it in the europa league i'm not 100 percent um putting a little bit more gold in there i think i overall don't mind it the one thing is that the center strap in the maroon is so wide and then the blue gets a little bit squished to to together this is what makes it a little bit little bit odd looking and also the way it intersects with the crest i would have liked that the blue goes maybe exactly where the color ends and then that the crest is fully in the blue so yeah um I don't like it better than the home jersey. Let's say that way. I think we'll end it with a six star. And there you have it. All of the Europa League jerseys reviewed. Now I would like to know which jerseys in here did you like? Which ones did you dislike? Where do you agree and disagree with me? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I'll surely talk to you soon with some other videos about jerseys and football in general. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!